This video is brought to you by NordVPN. More on that later. Okay, team, the agenda today is how do we get people to want to fuck Colonel Sanders? Why? Because we want to sell chicken, duh. Fried chicken is actually pretty good. I, I think it sells itself. We can make a movie. Speak on that. We can make a horny movie. You have my attention. What does that have to do with chicken? Why can't we just make like a holiday discount or something? Something normal. Johnson, Colonel Sanders is hot now. Damn it, you're a genius. Today, we're talking about this, a movie poster for what seems to be a Lifetime original movie slash KFC crossover telling us the origin story of Colonel Sanders? I don't know about you, but that's a question I've been asking all year. Vaccine, <laughs> only after I know where the old chicken man came from. The post went viral. Everybody was talking about it. My mailman <laughs> was like, here's your mail, Jarvis. Also, you heard about this KFC movie? So I'll bite, I'll bite. That's a chicken pun. Fortunately, unlike KFC's ill-fated gaming console that also cooks chicken, which uh, I do have on pre-order. This movie actually got made. Um, I regret to inform you, but you know what? They went with the best because when you want to make a when you want to make a horny movie, you got to go straight to the top. And KFC did just that, partnering with Lifetime in what must be the weirdest brand deal of all time of all lifetime. But before we get into the movie, let's check in with Ad Jarvis. It's me, I'm Ad Jarvis. And today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Have you ever wanted to watch a Lifetime original movie about, let's say, a fried chicken entrepreneur only to find out that it isn't available in your region? NordVPN's got your back. NordVPN is a virtual private network which will allow you to route your internet traffic anywhere around the world. Nord allows you to select your region so that you can access region lock content from all of the services you love, as well as mask your internet traffic from those little those little internet bad guys who are who are peeping on your unprotected Starbucks Wi-Fi. They have super fast servers in 60 countries. They don't log any of your data and they use double data encryption to increase anonymity. And if you need any help, Nord has 24-7 customer support. Try it out. And if you don't like NordVPN, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, but don't worry about that because you'll like it. If you sign up today at nordvpn.com slash Jarvis and use promo code Jarvis, you'll get access to their special holiday sale, which gives you four extra months on a two year subscription. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And now back to chicken movie Jarvis, who's uh, not wearing any glasses. Lifetime for those who aren't familiar are the masterminds behind such classics as, I can't name any of them off my head, but my mom sure did watch a lot of them growing up. If you wanna see me talk about more Lifetime movies in the future, series idea, let me know in the comments down below. Also subscribe and, and like, and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Jarvis Always Be Plugging. I did go to Lifetime's Twitter page and their bio is just unapologetically Christmas 24 seven, which isn't normally what they're about. Like it's not a Christmas channel. It's I, it's just that it's, it tis the season. I'm recording this on the fourth day of Hanukkah, but Lifetime couldn't give two shits about, <laughs> about your little oils. <laughs> no other holidays count. Lifetime is unapologetically Christmas. And I'm not sure if KFC's Lifetime original, a recipe for seduction is a Christmas movie, but maybe it'll be like Die Hard where it just like takes place on Christmas. And so we all know, the real ones know that it's a Christmas movie. Okay, so it, apparently it is a Christmas movie. We open to some gigantic Christmas trees and we, we have the opening title card where we find out that this is a movie by Gene. What's their last name? They don't have one, they're just a single gene. Right out of the gate, you can tell that the budget was way too high for this commercial, I mean movie. <laughs> we open on this, some sort of family dinner, family Christmas dinner going down, but there's a bit of a surprise in store. Uh, someone's gonna propose. It's also during this intro title sequence that we see uh, the only shot of chicken in the entire movie. <laughs> what are they eating? It's like, Fried chicken, a piece of ham and rice. Is that a traditional Christmas meal? The chicken is delicious, Bunny. Oh, please. We both know I can't cook like this. It's my new chef. He's incredibly talented. Clearly this is meant to be tongue in cheek, but uh, it does not land for me. So we got Jessica, clearly the love interest that 
Colonel Sanders is going to snag. We got Billy Garibaldi the <laughs> third, the weirdest rich guy name ever. You can tell he's rich because his hair is slicked back. So that's cool. He's also got a vest on. So that's how you know. The mom is named Bunny for some reason, uh, and she's evil. There's also this moment where it's not clear why, but Jessica isn't enjoying the meal. And we're told this through a death stare given to her black gay best friend <laughs> never never heard of that one before lee so so lee's there also it couldn't be more perfect you'll recall i said someone was going to propose that was foreshadowing billy's going to propose jessica sweetheart i am madly wildly certifiably insanely in love with you thoroughly uh, wholly completely uncomfortably um indubitably in love with you so let's get married you do me the greatest honor oh my god and... does jessica think no one can see her <laughs> she's at the dinner table being proposed to where literally everyone has their eyes on the uh, potential fiance and she looks away to lee her black gay best friend i say that all as one word because it's a tired trope in media. She looks over to Lee and is like, oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> golly gee, I don't, this doesn't look good. Uh, it's like, we can hear you. <laughs> Billy, I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. Mm, well, literally you just spoke, so <laughs> I just, not to nitpick. When you get your speech back, a yes would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, when you get your, a yes would be nice. <laughs> Say yes. Sorry, everyone. I just... Damn, now she's got to turn down the whole dinner table for marriage? I feel for Jessica here. If only there were a suave, confusingly aged chef that she could fall in love with. Morning. How dare you leave Billy in the lurch like that? How dare you leave Billy in the lurch? <laughs> you can't be lurch leaving Billy. He... He tried to get your hand in marriage and then you lurched him. Please. He's a Garibaldi. So Jessica's mom, Bunny, is is very upset that Jessica did not want to take Billy's hand in marriage because he's a Garibaldi. <laughs> don't you Don't you know what that means? Do you know what this marriage would mean for us? I need time to process, okay? I'm not sure if Billy's the one. Then we find out that uh the dad's gone. It's not clear what happened to him. But he did leave. I mean, he must have died, I guess. But uh, that it's, the mother, Bunny, is mostly concerned about the debt that he left them in. In the meantime, your father left us nothing but a legacy of debt. She wants to maintain her fancy lifestyle. And uh, so she's pressuring her daughter to get married. It's a tale as old as time. You know, nowadays, in 2020, the only way to make money is to marry your daughter off to a rich guy, so. Specifically a Garibaldi. We're weeks away from the bank repossessing our house. But it's so unfair. Not to give financial advice during this video, but like, don't live above your means is my tip. Our family's livelihood shouldn't depend on who I choose to marry. Tell it, Jessica. Marrying Billy is the only thing that can save us. Nah, I don't think so. Probably not. So just as things are heating up, who walks in but the new chef? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Sorry, who are you? Harlan Sanders, the new cook. Oh, don't be so modest. Harlan was head chef at Le Petit Pomplemousse. Oh, Le Petit Pomplemousse. The little grapefruit? That's my favorite fake restaurant. Also, how old is Colonel Sanders supposed to be? They just painted Mario Lopez's hair gray. He was probably like, look, I've got some access Hollywood money to make. Do not f with the do. <laughs> so while Colonel Sanders and Jessica are staring longingly at each other, I want us to think about the fact that this family is about to lose their house and they hire a new chef. A new chef from Le Petit Pomplemou? I better get back to work. It was nice meeting you. Jessica. So is he old or just like prematurely gray? I'm really trying to figure out like what is going on with, with Mario Lopez right now. Also, he acts like a teenager. <laughs> He's just like... So after the first meeting of Colonel Sanders and Jessica, we immediately cut to the second meeting of the two, which is like an impromptu date of some kind, because one minute Colonel Sanders is like unloading a food shipment and 
he just leaves his post to go on a date with Jessica. Good morning. Good morning. Nobody's offered you a tour of the property yet, have they? Uh, no, not yet. Thank you. Shall we? Who's gonna take in those groceries? <laughs> you just you just signed for them and then you just left him out? That's no way, that's not, that's no way a chef should be. And Bunny is not having it with this new budding romance. No, 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 because you guessed it, Colonel Sanders is not a Garibaldi. So uh, she stares evilly out the doorway. <laughs> so Jessica wants to get to know Colonel Sanders, if you know what I'm saying. So she asks him for, you know, hey, what's the Harlan Sanders story? Tell me about you. The Harlan Sanders story. And normally when someone <laughs> someone asks you, what's your story? You start, I don't know, where you're from, how you got into, you know, doing the thing that you're doing now. That's not how Colonel Sanders answers this question. The first thing out of Colonel Sanders' mouth is, did you know I have a secret recipe? I'd have a chapter in there about my secret recipe changing the world. Oh, a secret recipe. I mean, I have way more questions than that. Like, uh... Like, for example, why are you a colonel? Unfortunately, the first date between these two lovebirds is cut short because Billy's really mad that Jessica did not accept his proposal. First, you don't answer my proposal, and now you're not answering my calls. Sorry, Billy, I just need some time. You humiliated me. Which is not how you're supposed to react when someone tells you that they need time to think about it. He just, he just starts yelling at her. He just starts yelling at her. Rejecting me in front of my parents. Oh, take it easy. Who the hell are you? Harlan Sanders, the new chef. Who are you? Who am I? It like cuts in, <laughs> like black bars fade in. Harlan Sanders. Maybe you've had my chicken dinner. Harlan Sanders, the new chef. Beat it, Crouton. Get back to the kitchen and let me and my fiance Really, stop. Talk. Beat it, Crouton. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. That's <laughs> nice. So thanks... Thinks on his feet, Billy. Meant to be together. Don't turn this into the biggest mistake of your life. Literally the most aggressive way to ask for someone's hand in marriage is with like a threat. <laughs> he looks like a Harry Potter villain. He looks like he's gonna, he looks like an evil wizard <laughs> of some kind. All he needs is like a robe in the dark mark <laughs> and, and you've got yourself a, you've got yourself a Death Eater. Don't call me Crouton. Did the insult hit home? Is there like a backstory here? Did he used to get called Crouton as a kid? Don't call me Crouton. No, so because the movie desperately needs to explain why Jessica is so into Colonel Sanders after knowing him for like a second. She calls her best friend Lee to explain. Wanna hear something crazy? I think I'm falling for the new chef, Harland. Oh. I can't explain it. He's so compassionate and handsome. And ambitious. Didn't she just say that she couldn't explain it? We have this amazing connection. I can't explain it. Um, but also, he's attractive and funny. He's a great cook. Stable career. <laughs> uh, cool hair, actually. You know what? I can't explain it. What do I do? My mom needs me to marry Billy. I've seen the Billsley. Sorry, did they just say, my mom needs me to marry Billy? I've seen the Billsley. You could have written yourself out of that. What, what is this, Dr. Seuss? Hey, what should I do? Should I leave Billy for Harland? What? <laughs> it's day one! Now, I know all I know about Harland is his recipe, but should I leave him for my uh, nearly fiancé? Have a great day. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Love you. Mwah. Now you send the we need to talk text? <laughs> also, of course, waiting around the corner as she often is. If there's a doorway, Bunny is gonna be in it. She steals Jessica's phone and then she goes to Tattletale to, <laughs> to Billy Garibaldi the third, where we reveal, like if this story wasn't weird enough, and I, I get that it's like a parody of a soap opera telenovela situation, but if it wasn't weird enough, it's about to completely jump the shark and I have no idea why KFC put this in their movie. <laughs> It's like, is this alcohol? <laughs> I, I hate this stuff. I have some troubling news. Jessica is falling for Harlan Sanders, of all people. I love the actor that plays Billy because his facial expressions are exclusively cartoon facial expressions. The cook? <laughs> 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 I forgot he laughed. It's, he, that really just adds to my point, to be honest. I'm serious, Billy. So the big reveal is that Billy and Jessica's mom are fucking. We all have our secrets, Billy. You remember our long weekend in the vineyard? 
How could I forget? They they ha they have some sort of disgusting romantic relationship, which is disgusting because he's supposed to be marrying her daughter. Why? Why did you do this, KFC? Why? I just don't any you could have done anything else. This doesn't serve the story. The characters were already cartoonishly evil as it was. You didn't need to make them secret lovers. Ew. If you marry my daughter, I promise there'll be more long weekends in your future. No. As many as you want. Ugh, stop it. Do not say anything else. Please just make it stop. I'll take care of this. You don't say there's more long weekends in the vineyard for me? Well, that's a better motivator than the fact that my girlfriend is in love with the cook that she just met. You mean if I ruin their relationship, I get to keep f her mom Ugh, it's so nasty Ew! just why this is the longest scene in the movie so now on his quest to make sure that he gets more long weekends in the vineyard billy is <sighs> i guess he's looking for dirt on harlan sanders colonel sanders mario lopez knock knock anyone home and he he starts in the kitchen because that's where that's where a chef keeps all his secrets. Why are you, why? What was the purpose of that? Like, did he think that the secret recipe was hiding on the knife blade? That's dangerous. Do not try this at home. Eventually he figures it out. It's in his backpack. His secret recipe was just sitting in his backpack, labeled secret recipe. This isn't exactly a secret recipe so much as like his scratch work to try and get there. Nine herbs. Two spices, no. No, it's all wrong. I like that he's drawn a drumstick <laughs> on the recipe, in case you were curious. Like, in case in case you couldn't read any of the words on it, you're like, okay, this involves chicken, for sure. And of course, he signs it, CHS, um, which I can only assume stands for Colonel Harlan Sanders. Secrets out, chicken man. There's not really anything secret on this paper, <laughs> but sure, <laughs> sure, sure, man. I guess he's, you know, he's never been in the kitchen. He's never really sullied his hands with the work of the common man. So I'm sure he just doesn't know what a recipe looks like. But just as Billy thinks he's getting away with Colonel Sanders' secrets, um, Colonel Sanders pops up. Cause I guess he was just in like the bathroom or something. I've come to make you an offer. Sorry? <laughs> You're gonna make me explain this, aren't you? Yeah. You just said, I'm here to make you an offer. And I was like, oh yeah, do tell. And he's like, oh, you're going to make me explain the offer? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? No. How much to leave Jessica alone and skip town? Sorry, pal. I'm not interested in your money. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't need money. You have a life-changing secret recipe. <laughs> Who told you about my recipe? Was it me? Do yourself a favor, pal. $500,000? <laughs> this man is so threatened by the chef that his girlfriend just met that he has written him a check for $500,000 to leave her alone. I mean, if it was me, I would be gone. $500,000 and I barely know this lady? See ya. I'm rich. Take the check and get lost. Merry Christmas. Right. Remember, it's Christmas? Lifetime, unapologetically Christmas, 24-7. <laughs> so Lee arrives at the giant mansion to look for Jessica because Jessica's phone is has been stolen by her mom. Where's Jessica? I would like to point out that there is a broom slash mallet hanging out next to the staircase for no reason unless, wait for it, the mom's gonna, gonna knock out Lee and it's pretty funny. Jessica! <laughs> That's why that was there. There is no way that she is dragging that body anywhere. It's very hard to move an unconscious person. Then Colonel Sanders confronts Jessica with the check. Hey, I was just thinking about you. I'd appreciate it if you told your fiance I can't be bought off. What is this? Where'd you get this? Where'd you get this? The check is made out to me <laughs> from, from your boyfriend, so like, I got it from him. <laughs> what, are, what are the other answers to that question? It's like a, it's from his checkbook. I never said yes. I don't want Billy. I want you. Billy? 
we have a problem. Good old bunny, always, always in the doorway, literally always in the doorway. <laughs> Why have a security system when you can just have bunny in every doorway? <laughs> This video is sponsored by Bunny. Then it's the next day, I presume, um, because because Bunny is reading the newspaper like she likes to do in the morning while drinking from a very tiny teacup. I'm getting deja vu because uh, how many scenes in this movie have started with Bunny reading the Chronicle and then having Jessica walk in? Because I feel like it's a few. Um, I have to tell you something. Oh? I can't marry Billy. I was talking to Harlan last night and I just- Harlan? Yes, Harland. Is the thought of me with someone who makes me happy so awful to you? It's like, okay, no need to get defensive. <laughs> I'm just surprised because you met him yesterday. No, no. It's just, Harland left, dear. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? Late last night. In a hurry, it seemed. I thought you knew. Harlan is missing. Where did he go? Guess we better go back to the kitchen and... Check all the cabinets. So Jessica walks around the house grounds, um, searching for her beloved chicken man. And eventually she hears muffled screams coming from a door with blood on the handle. So, uh, that escalated quickly. I like how blood is on the handle, but she doesn't have to, she doesn't have to, the door was just open. <laughs> Did anybody else see that? She just grabs the door. They just left the door open. Blood is on the handle, not even locked. Wouldn't even matter if it was locked because the door is ajar. And I'm a Jarvis. Mm. Harlan. Mm. Okay, so I get it. It's like a soap opera or whatever. But can we talk about how people act like a tiny strip of duct tape can prevent someone from speaking? <laughs> Billy, what the hell are you doing? Getting rid of this low life. So am I supposed to believe that after Billy's poorly thought out plan of writing a $500,000 check failed, he decided to kill the chef? <laughs> that, that, was, that was his logic? He's ruining everything! Billy! Mom, thank God. Billy has gone crazy. Lee's escaped. What do you mean Lee's escaped? Just kill him already. What? <laughs> Why is everyone so bloodthirsty now? You know, I already thought the movie had like jumped the shark, but it jumped another shark. <laughs> it jumped a whale. I'll give him something for consistency because they open the movie with Jessica shooting a look over to Lee. And uh, right here in the climax, Lee's there for the reaction shot, but he's like, Shh, don't say anything, which should be obvious considering the scenario that we're in right now. His feet aren't, he could just stand up. Literally his hands are just tied behind the chair. You gave up a little too easy on this one, Mr. Sanders. <laughs> Jessica tackles the ever living shit out of her mom <laughs> and rescues Harland who again, could have just gotten up from this scenario. There's barely anything keeping him here. <laughs> Did you see how easy it was to remove that tape? It, it barely stuck to his face. Island. Yeah, like maybe don't make out here. Maybe like untie him and escape. There was an attempted murder that we just witnessed. And whose blood was that on the door handle? <laughs> like where did that blood come from? Maybe it was just Billy's Billy's blood, he just ran his finger along the <laughs> along the blade and was like, I gotta stop doing that. Cut to one year later and Colonel Sanders and Jessica get married, of course. I'm surprised they could wait a year considering how fast everything else was moving. Meanwhile, uh, Bunny, Jessica's mom, is in the loony bin looking straight up like Bellatrix Lestrange. <laughs> like, I don't know why they made her look so so wacky. You have a visitor today, Mrs. Mancera. Why does the staff at this health and wellness center look like they're working for like the Dharma initiative or something? Like she's being, <laughs> she's being like, run, there's tests being run on her or something. Hello, bunny. Well? I found them. What does that mean? Also, were you just holding a single drumstick in your hand while you like were checking into the health and wellness center? Hi, I'm Billy Garibaldi the third. Uh, don't mind the drumstick, I'm just here to visit. I didn't realize that there were two shots of chicken in this movie, so they got their money's worth for sure. Uh, 
it starts with chicken and it ends with chicken. It's a complete circle. It's the circle of life. I don't know what he's referring to. Should I know what he's referring to? So that was a movie that was actually made and probably cost money to produce, I presume. It was it was very beautifully shot, uh, like a commercial for 16 minutes. I watched a 16 minute commercial and now it, you have too. Honestly, this was a successful marketing ploy because not only am I talking about it, but everybody was like, what the hell is this? So we're, we're talking about KFC. I cannot tell you whether or not it makes me want to eat KFC chicken anymore, especially uh, after seeing that the only guy pictured eating chicken in the movie is the crazy murderer man. But yeah, I mean, you win, I guess, KFC. You, you got what you wanted. And I got what I wanted, which was content. Thanks for joining me today. Um, let me know if you want to see me talk about more Lifetime original movies, because I could sure do that. And I will catch you next time on Dragon Ball Z. What is up? It's Editing Jarvis, and I forgot to do a shout out. So, uh, thanks to Yana Troth, Yana Traff, Jana Traff, one of those is all, they're probably all wrong, for sending me a message on Instagram. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want me to butcher your name, send me a message on Instagram. <laughs>